All right, in weeks three and four of our 12-week lower back and core program, we're doing squats. Now, at this stage, some people aren't ready for squats, even a free squat without any load. Maybe their core's not strong enough to hold them in the right positions of their spine and their shins, or they simply haven't done the movement pattern for long enough to get the right technique. So we get them doing ball wall squats, which helps them with balance and load, but also gets their angles right. And there's a few tips on this. When you're doing a wall squat with a ball against the wall, the good thing about this is you're held up. So you don't have to worry about your core for balance. So this is to try and get the moving pattern going. It's good for recovery also in knee programs when they just don't want too much load, they haven't got the balance right, maybe their form is not so good. And it's a good entry point into progressing towards squats. But bear in mind, you've got to go from this to normal squats. This is just an interim step. Now, what I see going wrong with a lot of people is they have their knees too far back. So when they try and squat, their knees go too far forward and they go, Tim, my knees hurt. So what you've got to do is have your knees forward enough that you're not going to get any patellar femoral pain from having your knees too far back and your body weight way over here and your knees way over there. The other thing you've got to do is not have your knees too far forward Otherwise, you're not really going to teach yourself a good moving pattern with your squats. If my feet are too far forward, I'm not going to be able to hold that position when I normally squat. So there's not really much point in that. It's just going to give me a little bit of quads tone. It's not really teaching me mechanics in my back. So the optimum is trying to find the right position of your feet. And again, having those feet wide, having your feet straight, knees over toes. So when you squat down, you are letting your knees go forward. Okay, but you're also trying to get your hips back and your shoulders over. So I'm not way back here with my shoulders. What I want to do is have my knees going forward, but my hips going back. So when I squat down, I can actually get into that position, okay, like I'm doing an almost a normal squat. So that means you'll have to tuck your bum under. So what I get people to do is make sure that ball starts in your lower back. And then you've got to have your back and your buttocks and your hips following the ball underneath. So as you squat down, instead of coming away from the ball, I want you to follow the ball backwards, almost like you're pushing back into the ball, which will get your shoulders forward a little bit more. Okay? Now as you get better at that, you can inch your feet back a little bit more. Okay? So when you go down, you're going to that more of a normal squat where the knees going over your toes, especially when you get strong in your quads or you've got no patellofemoral problems, you can do this better and better and better. So when you get into the squat pattern, it's almost like a normal squat. You're just not holding yourself up, but that's the next stage. So try and make sure you get your form a little bit better. Every session you do this, or every repetition, every set you do this, just see if you can get your form a little bit better so you're trying to mimic more of a normal squat pattern and then you have a better chance of progressing to a normal bodyweight squat and beyond. See you next time.